everybody, welcome to The Colors of Beauty by Elle. I'm Isabel. Welcome back and welcome all my new subscribers. Welcome to my channel everyone and uh, I hope everybody's doing really well this day and every day. Uh, today I have a review, actually two reviews to do today um, on the on Besame Cosmetics and today I'm going to be bringing you a review on the face powder brush and I saw this on uh, online and at Sephora and I thought it was quite interesting looking so I thought oh wow I would really like to um, try this brush you know because it looked so so nice and it looked so soft and I love Besame Cosmetics and um, because they are cruelty free, I do have to say, but they're not organic. And uh, the reason they're not organic is because a lot of their pro a lot of their ingredients they can't get them in organic form. So I just wanted to put that out there so you guys know what um, what if you buy it that you're aware of that particular um, information. So, anyways. I picked up two things from um, Besame Cosmetics that I'm going to be reviewing today. The first one is the Besame, um, Besame Finishing Brush. And this is what the box looks like. Had to make sure it wasn't upside down. <laughs> so I bought this for $50 at Sephora. I know it's a little pricey. I know, but I really wanted to try it and I thought it would, you know, looked really interesting. So the way you open it is you go this way and the brush kind of goes right in here. So I took the brush out, of course, and I have to say that, forgive me, because it, it does have powder on it because I'm going to show you a demo of it in just a minute. So this is what the brush looks like. It's very, you know, it's really nicely shaped for either the right hand or the left hand. So if you're righty or lefty, you can still use it. And uh, like I said before, the brush is does have product on it, and uh, but it this is so soft. It's so soft. It's like I I don't know. It it's like down. It feels like like a little chick's you know, little chicks down uh, feathers, but it's so, so, so soft. And what it's made to do, what it's made for, is to put, uh, to finish off your makeup with powder. And uh, it gives it just a beautiful finish instead of going in with a regular brush, you know, you stipple it on, you still kind of have a little patches here and there of powder and then you have to you know kind of move it around this one does not do that it is such a nice um it, it's such a nice tool to have for me for my collection um because uh you put it you know you put your powder on it you know either like this or like this and then you just put it on you know buff it on and it leaves the most beautiful finish on your face with uh, with this particular brush. I'm going to go ahead and give you a demo on it. And uh, here it is right here. Okay, I decided to go ahead and put my mineral foundation on today. And, um, and I'm using my brush. I did put on my cream contour. Anytime you do a um, foundation with powder always do your contouring if you're using cream products first and I'm taking my Too Faced Chocolate um, Soleil and I'm gonna go ahead and take my powder brush and just buff it in it is so soft oh my gosh I love this brush and it gives such an even finish to your face you can do your mineral foundation with it. You can do your finishing powder with it. And it just looks so sweet. Okay. I did only one side, which is that one. And the other side I left naked. But I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of it. 
Okay, I did finish off my look as you can see, but this brush is so nice. Uh, I would purchase it again, you know, knowing if it, you know, that it was like $50, that's whatever, but, uh, you know, sometimes you're curious about things, you know, and you want to buy it, and I thought, well, if it didn't work out, I could always take it back, because Sephora has some really great um, returns on their products, but uh, it just goes on so, so soft, so soft, and I love, love this brush, and uh, again, I love the design on it. It's so pretty, and it's so, it kind of reminds me of something retro, you know, that you would put on your vanity, um, and the, the girls back then would just put on your their makeup, you know, their powder. It's so pretty. I, if you can pick this guy up, I would really recommend it. It's, it's a very nice product. Now, the next a product that I want to review from Besame is their lipstick. <laughs> now, the lipsticks are really, really nice. came in a box like this. I love the way it looks on here. It's so pretty, and I love the foiling on here. It is such a pretty, pretty package. And this is what the inside of the tube looks like. Well, the tube itself, this is what it looks like. Look at that pretty coat that, I love this. I love the um, the really pretty detail on on the on the packaging here of, of the bullet. Isn't that beautiful? And when you open it, and this is the color. I got it in the color American Beauty. And uh, this is a 0 0.12 ounces. I did pick it up for $22 at Sephora. And the thing about Besame's, uh, this particular line in their, um, in their lipsticks is that each lipstick color that they made, it's red, it's retro inspired um, from the 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. Um, to have your lips look very smooth and um, the application is just so, so beautiful. I. I love it. It lasts a very long time. It is a cream formula. Um, it's just so beautiful. Uh, I would really recommend putting it on with a lip pencil because, or a lip brush, because when you put it on, it's so creamy that it's just so like, I don't know, it, you just take a little bit and it's like on you, you know, so. I would really recommend using a lip brush with this particular product. Um, but I have to say, it is so beautiful. It smells like vanilla. It's so nice and creamy and smooth. And uh, I can't say enough about it because it, it's very, very beautiful. I love it. And I love the fact that, they, that the colors were inspired from the retro ladies from a long time ago with their when they were putting on their their you know their their lipstick you know like Marilyn Monroe um and you know I was I was, I was gonna say Betty Boop but Betty Boop's a cartoon character <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> anyways I would really recommend this. If you're out and about and you're looking for a really great red color, this is so beautiful. I love it. I think it looks will look nice on any skin tone. And again, like they do have uh, different colors. They have like five colors, I believe, in this particular line. So go check them out and uh, let me know if you guys um, tried it or you know are going to try it or if you tried it and then and then you know and then you liked it and let me <laughs> and all that stuff you know what I mean so okay you guys that's it for today for my review on the Besame Cosmetics um, finishing brush and their lipstick here. They're, they're, it's actually called, uh, this is actually called a boudoir, boudoir, I can't even say that word, boudoir or, or boudoir long hair finishing brush. 
Would you listen to me? Okay, a finishing brush. <laughs> so, all right, you guys. I hope you guys are doing well and great and everything in between. Don't forget to um, to look around you and enjoy all the colors of beauty all around you guys um, this summer and every single day. And please like my video and share it. And also comment. I love reading your comments. I really very much appreciate it. And um, and I guess I thought, oh, don't forget, I do have snail mail. And I do have Instagram and Facebook. And if you want to send me a letter, I do have, uh, I did, did I say snail mail already? I think I did. Hmm. But anyways, I'll say it again, snail mail. <laughs> So, and Twitter also. I do have Twitter now. So, anyways, you guys, thank you so much for stopping by. And I hope you guys have a great day. And don't forget, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.